go with the spirit of him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. But it will not come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, who commands, who commands us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, Grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the continuing presence of our heavenly physician, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard, the Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth? He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes bigger abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, my soul. 
Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. We kneel now for our novena in honor of our Lady of Mount Carmel and St. Anne. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. Kindle in them the fire of your love. We fly to Our Lady and Our Mother with entire confidence. Your Son has given you all power over his heart. Do take us, your children, and place us in that divine heart, so that our souls may be purified from all that is displeasing to him so that henceforth our hearts may be like yours on their love of God and our neighbor. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, singular vessel of the Holy Spirit, hear my prayer as I kneel before you. O Mary, Queen of Heaven, from the bottom of my heart, I beg you to hear my prayers and grant me the graces and favors I ask in this novena. If what I ask is not for the glory of God or the salvation of my soul, do give me peace of mind in what is most conducive to both. Stretch out, O most bountiful Jesus, your pierced hands, which you on the cross have stretched out for all sinners, and bless us in body and soul as you, ascending into heaven, have blessed your apostles, that our enemy, terrified at the sign of the cross, may flee from us and not hurt us. So bless us, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. I know Vina prayed to good Saint Anne. Glorious Saint Anne, filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer, heavily laden with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg you to take the present affair, which I commend you under your special protection. Deign to commend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and lay it before the throne of Jesus so that he may bring it to a happy ending. Cease not to intercede for me until my request is granted. Above all, obtain for me the grace of one day beholding my God face to face. And with you and our Blessed Mother and all the saints, praising and blessing him for all eternity, good Saint Anne, Mother of her, who is our life, our sweetness, and our hope, pray for me. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body to be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop Robert, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. And remember your servants, Caroline and Louise Maturi, and Gloria Lombardo, whom you have called from this world unto yourself. Grant that they who unite with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Carmel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 
Christ. In the body of Christ. In the body of Christ. 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 Amen. Body of Christ. 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 The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one announcement this Saturday at noontime at St. Elizabeth's Church, there will be a rosary recited uh, for the intention of keeping Christ in Christmas. So that's uh, this Saturday at noon at St. Elizabeth's. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Proceed. Thank you. Thank you.